my name is Julia and I'm an incoming MS1 and I recently started a YouTube channel to document my journey through medical school and residency um, to becoming a doctor. So medical school starts for me in one week so I thought I would go through my backpack as it is and a school supplies haul just talking about what I've currently purchased to get me through my first year of medical school. It's going to be a little bit different for me because school is mostly online. We heard recently that we will be in online school for all lectures. We will go to campus for small groups, anatomy, and then we actually start clinical experiences in October and we were supposed to currently be going into the clinics for that. So I'm going to need a backpack. I will be going to campus a few times a week, but I'm also gonna have a desk set up here, which I'm super excited to show you once I get that done later this week. This is mostly everything I'm gonna have. I'm going to do a little bit more shopping for a lot of the stuff on my desk and a couple more electronic items once my loan money comes through. But as of right now, this is what I have. So this is the North Face Recon backpack. And I think it's in gray and black what the color is called essentially. It's super nice, it has a lot of pockets. I had a Patagonia backpack all through undergrad and I really liked it, it held up well, but I just wanted something that had a lot of storage space. I really like to keep my backpack organized. So I'm sure there will be water bottles and coffee in both of these pockets most of the time, but as of right now, this is what it looks like. And I will just start from the front and go back, I guess. So in this little front pocket, I'm keeping two chapsticks, who doesn't love chapstick? Oh. A pair of sunglasses just for driving to and from school. And my portable charger in case I get stuck somewhere. And my iPad or my phone decides to die on me. And then it has the second pocket back. And this is where I'm keeping a lot of my utensils and stuff. So you can kind of see it here. It's got a few different pockets and then this really thick back pocket. So up in the front, I have a little, I can't even get this out. I have extra pencil lead. I literally hate running out of pencil lead. So I always keep an extra in my backpack. And then I have a Sharpie and two of these, these are just the Bic 0.7 millimeter pencils. They're pretty basic. It's a good pencil. I always carry a few of these Pilot G2s in 0.7 millimeters. They're my favorite pens. I buy them like in bulk at Sam's Club. They're always on sale. So if you like these, they're on sale a lot, especially in the 0.7. So I keep those in there. In this pocket, I just keep a TI-30XS scientific calculator. And then as we work back, I always carry a little like, I don't even know what you would call this little kit with me. This one has hand sanitizer, a tampon, a little mirror, uh, hair clip that I haven't worn a hair clip like that since I was a child. So I don't even know how they got in here. And a hair tie, just in case I need something while I'm on campus. Then I have other hand sanitizer. This is the Bare Hands by Bare Republic hand sanitizer spray. To be entirely honest, it smells really not great. It looks really cute, but I'm not a huge fan. Then I always keep my laptop charger and an extra phone charger and this pretty pouch. This was actually a makeup bag. I don't actually remember what it came from. I think I got like makeup brushes for Christmas at some point or something, it's pretty old. But I keep all of my zebra mild liners in here. If you don't know what these are, they're wonderful highlighters. They're in pretty pastel colors and they have a little pen side. So now on to the major pocket in the middle. Some of this stuff I probably won't be carrying in my backpack. Like I said, this is a school supplies haul as well. So first of all, I have these Harman Kardon headphones. I will put links in the description for everything. These are essentially Bluetooth or wired headphones. I like them, I think they're pretty comfortable. I got them quite a few years ago. I think they're not too expensive anymore. I think the last time I looked, they were on sale for like 50 bucks. But they're really comfortable on my ears. They're square shaped, which is interesting. And they also fold up, so they're nice to travel with. And I just like to have over the ear headphones for when I'm studying. I don't like earbuds, I think they're uncomfortable. I have this case from Pawtech. And it is actually a case for the, this is the little wireless Mac keyboard. And I also have the Magic Mouse in here, the older Magic Mouse. And these are really great for 
if I'm studying and I want to like get more comfortable and just use my laptop as a screen. But I also have a stand that I put my laptop on, but I don't know where that went while I was moving. So I have to find that. And then I currently have a 20 pack of super tip washable Crayola markers. I know that for anatomy, coloring is going to be helpful. I don't like colored pencils never have but I do carry usually markers or felt tip pens with me for diagrams or coloring then I also have my anatomy coloring book this is the Princeton review one and I have actually never taken anatomy before so I'm pretty nervous to start it first time in med school I've just been kind of lightly coloring it so far I haven't done a whole lot but just doing some like light coloring in it to familiarize myself with things I think it's nice it's got really good descriptions on this side and it's really easy for color coding and just some nice review i will probably use it mostly during anatomy if i find it to be helpful but in the summer i've just been reviewing some of the stuff that isn't really fresh in my mind i have a five star five subject notebook i will most likely be studying on my ipad and taking notes on my ipad but i always like to have this kind of paper whether i need to just like jot notes down i just think it's nice to have one and i like these five subject ones so i can divide it up and then two of my favorite things to carry with me um a pack of flashcards and also these big post-its they're like the bigger post-it sheets and i really like these for notes more because they're better for to-do lists and that kind of thing and they just give you a little more space finally all of my technology is in the back part of my backpack it has a cushioned laptop sleeve and for med school there are a lot of requirements for technology so my school has specific laptop requirements as far as storage space and uh screen resolution and ram and all sorts of stuff like that this is the laptop i will be using for med school it's the 13 inch macbook air um it's really great i like it i used Mac in undergrad a lot i love the airs because they're more affordable and they're small and lightweight and i don't feel like i need more than this i will be getting an external hard drive to protect my stuff and if i run out of space i can move stuff over there but i think this is perfect for what i need this is my ipad it's the ipad something or another but we actually have to use the ipad that our school provides to us because it has special software so that's everything that's in my backpack but there are two more things that i wanted to share with you that are just items that i think are going to be helpful for me as i start med school first of all I have this set of the Kaplan Anatomy flashcards. These were only $14 at half price books, but I was always a big like hands-on flashcard person. So I think these are gonna be really nice for me. They're organized, they're topic, and they're very visual. Like they have a lot of really well-labeled diagrams and descriptions on the back. And finally, the holy grail of med student school supplies that I have been waiting to get literally for years. I was very fortunate that my significant other purchased this for me after I was accepted. And this is the beautiful Littman Cardiology 4, and I'm gonna be unboxing it for you today. I have opened it, but I wanna show you it in all of its glory. Here it is, still in its cushy case. This will probably be in my backpack all the time or around my neck. This is my stethoscope, and it comes with a change out in earpieces, and then I think this has something to do with the bell, maybe? I don't know much about how to use this yet. And there's an instruction manual. It's beautiful. I love it. It's got um, a matte black bell down here um, and a shiny black up here. And it has my initials up here on the earpiece. And it is personally engraved on the bell as well. And I love it. When I put it on my neck, I feel like maybe someday I'll know what I'm doing. I also, pro tip, heard that when you own one of these, there's a really cool app. I haven't downloaded it yet, but there's a Littman Cardiology app that I guess will let you listen to a bunch of different like heart sounds and lung sounds and teach you how to use your stethoscope. So that's something I'm gonna have to try out. School gets started. Got that is essentially all of the school supplies I've purchased so far and what is in my backpack as I start medical school. I'm super excited that it starts in a week. I'm getting nervous. Um, so this week's goal is just to get my desk set up and I'm super excited to show that to you guys and then get ready to start in a week. Um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Please leave me any comments or questions or suggestions for anything you'd like to hear me talk about later. I'm really enjoying doing this and I cannot wait to share my journey with you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!